The Miami University hockey team has many loyal and dedicated fans. From the pep band that plays at every home game to the diehard students who wait in line hours before each game. But one fan has been coming to games for over 25 years. Meet Jim Bodmer. If you've ever been to a hockey game, you definitely know who Jim is and probably have heard him too. Let's go Redskins! Jim has been a season ticket holder of the hockey team since 1986 and was quick to correct me when I mentioned him being a Red Hawk alum. I'm a Redskin alumni. Uh, yeah, my wife and I both graduated in 1960 and my kids graduated in, in uh, 86 and 90. So uh, uh, we're all Miami alumni and uh, uh, I, I come to football, basketball and hockey games, all of them. And, Love it. I haven't missed a hockey game since I had season tickets. Uh, I don't, I guess that's the same for basketball and football too. It's been fun. It's just a lot of fun. Clearly a devoted supporter of Red Hawk or Redskin athletics, Jim says hockey sticks out as the one sport he likes above the rest. I was born and raised in Cleveland and back in those days when there were six NHL teams, the Cleveland Barons had an American Hockey League team that was probably as good as any of the NHL teams and many of their players went on to the NHL and now are in the Hall of Fame, uh, NHL Hall of Fame. But So I loved hockey before Zambonis and and, uh, and just when they came here, I, as I say, I, it's just the best spectator, best spectator sport there is. As both a spectator and supporter of the red and white for over two decades, Jim has seen many memorable moments in Red Hawk hockey history over that time. The first time they won the CCHA championship in 93, uh, they beat uh, Michigan. Jason Mallon scored a goal in overtime, a minute into overtime, uh, to beat Michigan, which did not win the championship, but uh, in effect it did because if they'd have lost, Michigan might have gone to win, but Miami won it the next week at Ferris State. But that was, the, that was probably the most exciting. There have been other games. Uh, I went to Alaska once with the team, and that was fun. Uh, Ohio State, when Miami scored, uh, Matt Glumack scored a goal at 4.59.9 of overtime with a tenth of a second left to win one to nothing. That was a fun game to watch the Ohio State fans. But uh, there have been so many that uh, uh, the game where Miami beat Western Michigan scored two goals within 20 seconds or something like that. Uh, a couple of years ago, it was fun. There have been so many, it's just hard to say. So the big question most want to know from Jim is, why the Redskins chant, and what did he think of the name change back in the 90s? Well, I was disappointed, uh, only from the fact of the way they went about changing it. Uh, the uh, university had uh, talked about changing it, and, uh, uh, and the Miami Indian tribe did not want him to change it. And then it's my understanding that somebody from the university went down and asked the tribe to ask to have it changed. If the tribe would have asked on their own, I'd have been all for it. But, uh, but I was a redskin, and, and I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. But I just like to have fun. And uh, uh, if it irritates some politically correct people, so be it. But uh, uh, I enjoy it. And, and it's, a, it's at the point now where if I quit, so many people say, well, I haven't heard you tonight or whatever. So we want more gold. Sam, 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 As Miami Sam, continues Sam. its run deep into the playoffs, having fans like Jim will only help the team toward their goal of a national championship.